Navjack27 here, and I wanted to do a video showing how I've recently learned to uh, speed up my workflow, uh, uh, specifically the rendering part of uh, the workflow in Sony Vegas. Um, I was wondering, uh, you know, how to take advantage of different rendering te techniques for exporting in here and uh, a couple other things, and I happened upon this thing called debug mode frame server and basically what it does is it will take your project export it to an avi file that is kind of like a, a proxy for handbrake and then handbrake will um take the output and uh compress it you know using uh the settings that you use in handbrake and i'm going to show you how i how i do this it's pretty neat so first you create a loop you make it the length of your project and then you add a second to it. So right now it's 7.5105. So I go over and I make it 7.5205. There you go. And then I already have it installed. So we go to scripting, send to handbrake, let this thing do its business. And now that that's done, it will open up Handbrake. And then Handbrake will scan the AVI file. And you'll see that Sony Vegas will scrub through the frames. So Handbrake knows how long it is and you know does the analysis bit of it. And then if you used Handbrake before, you just pick your settings. I uh, have a, a preset that I've worked pretty hard on figuring out you know, what's the best uh, trade-off for speed, compression, and quality. I keep a uh, source resolution. Don't use any of the filters. H.264, 60 constant. Put it on medium preset. No tune, high profile, 5.1 level, and a constant quality of 20. And then the audio, mix down the stereo, AAC codec, and 160 bit rate. And then uh, pick the hard drive I'm gonna put it on. I'll just put it here. For now, then you click start. Most of the time when I am using this, I'm able to cut my rendering in what feels like half. Um, you know, the approximate time left in Sony Vegas leaves a lot to be desired, but the one in Handbrake is pretty good because it shows you the frame rate that you're rendering, it shows you the average, and then it shows you the time remaining. That's always very accurate. And, uh, you also have the little thing from frame server that shows what percentage of the of the the final render frame rate that you're currently rendering the video for a little precaution for everybody um you really want to if, if you don't know much about computers when you're rendering make sure you're taking a look at your temperatures uh when you render very important because uh if you're just using the stock heat sink fan, maybe you have things on auto in your motherboard. Your motherboard could be doing some overclocking. It could be pushing it into a territory that you might not want your, uh, either the VRMs on your motherboard or your CPU to end up uh, getting at. And uh, with my overclock, um, if I have the voltages weird or, or I have um, some other things going on, uh, it could get to 80. It could get to 80. I keep. I have to keep my uh, door open in my room here. Have a fan uh, going in a room, get the air circulating just to push all the hot air out of the room. But um, now always, always make sure you're, you're paying attention to your temperatures. But usually with the way I have it, it'll get up to maybe 75, 76, and then plop all the way back down to uh, 30, 25 degrees Celsius. Hope this uh, video helps somebody out there who's uh, either been struggling with um, the rendering time, they like making content, but they got to leave their computer on all night just to get a, a video out. The plugin's called the Debug Mode Frame Server. Works in Sony Vegas 13. It works in Premiere. It works in pretty much everything here. Um, so check it out, debugmode.com slash frame server. See you guys later.